I don't think anybody's going to leave a legacy that's any better than what Bob leaves for Penfield. If they do, I'd, I'd be delighted because it'll be good for the kids and it'll be good for the families. But I, I think they got a steep hill to climb to do better than Bob. Summer of 2002, a couple friends called and invited me for a tour here. So I can do lunch, sure. I'm gonna take a tour and then they're gonna ask me to write a check. I get it, this is how it works. I took a tour, spent a lot of time with the staff and the kids. And as the discussion went on, I realized, oh, this is more than what you thought, Mr. McClay. I was figuring 45 minutes. My recollection is two and a half hours later, I left agreeing to be a member of the board. <laughs> and of course, I said yes, because by then they had already dipped me in the magic of Penfield Children's Center, which I have used shamelessly with anyone who comes through here ever since. You do the tour. And that's normally all it takes, because once you do that, this place grabs you by the heart. And as I've said a thousand times, it never lets you go. I think Bob is visionary. And I think when Bob has a vision that it's very difficult to move him off that vision. I don't think Bob is stubborn. I think Bob is tenacious. <laughs> it comes back to his ability to bring consensus. And not every person can pull off what Bob pulls off. We would not be where we are today without his efforts. I mean, simple. Many people would say, oh, for goodness sake, you've retired, aren't you done? N no, he's not. He's just getting started. <laughs> our kids and our families, the challenges they face every day is incredibly humbling. That through my efforts and many others, hopefully we can do something to help the families deal with the issues that face our kids.